There is one thing you should be aware of in regards to the v4 directive. When Vue.js updates a list of elements that was rendered with the v4 directive, it uses a so-called in-place patch strategy for accomplishing this. What this fancy term means is that in case the order of the data items changes, it does not move around the DOM elements to reflect this. Instead, it will patch the elements and ensure that each element reflects the new item order, meaning that any string interpolation is refreshed accordingly, for example. In case that didn't make too much sense, then hopefully it will once you see the example that I have prepared in advance. It outputs a list of persons and allows me to either add a new person to the array or shuffle the items within the array. So let's add a new person. And let's shuffle the array. As you can see, the order of the items changes. So both of these actions manipulate the person's array. The implementation details of these actions are not important, so you don't have to pay attention to the JavaScript code unless you are interested in that. As you could see before when I click the buttons, Vue.js updates the list whenever I manipulate the array that the v4 directive operates on, and all is good. The important thing to note here is that it does not move the DOM element, but simply patches its contents. In simple cases, this is all we need, but sometimes this will get us into trouble, as you will see in a moment. How Vue.js detects these changes to the array is something that we'll cover in the next lecture. For now, you just need to be aware that while this behavior is efficient because it touches the DOM as little as possible, it's not without problems. Since Vue.js reuses the DOM as much as possible, this causes problems in certain scenarios such as when using form controls that rely on the temporary state of the DOM. Let me show you an example of what I mean so that it's easier to understand. What I will do is that I will simply add a text input within the li element, which allows me to keep track of what happens with the DOM. So I'll simply add a new input here. And actually, that's all I want to do. So I'll run the code again. And now I have some input fields available to me. What I will do is that I will type in the name and the ID of the person that is rendered within each element. So here I'll write Andy1, Abby2, and Teresa3. Now watch what happens when I click the shuffle button. The elements within the array are shuffled and moved around randomly. This is correctly updated in the DOM because Vue.js recognizes the string interpolation. However, notice how the text inputs were left intact and no longer match with the names and IDs to the left of them. This happens because Vue.js reuses the DOM for each of the LI elements as a performance optimization. Clearly, this is a problem and can cause real problems in more serious applications than this. Problems that can be quite difficult to debug unless you are aware of this behavior. So now that we see the problem, let's see how we can fix it. This can be done by adding a key attribute to each element, which is basically a hint to Vue.js allowing it to track the identity of each element and thereby reuse and reorder elements correctly. We must bind the key attribute using the vbind directive because we need to specify an expression. So let's see what it looks like. I'll just clean this up a little bit. And I'll add the vbind directive here and bind to the key attribute. Most commonly, we will enter an expression that points to a property on the alias used in the v4 directive, which is p in this example. Since we must provide a unique value, I'll use the id property. So p.id. It's important that we refer to a unique value such that Vue.js can distinguish the elements from each other. Let's repeat the test from before, and this time we should see that the input fields are placed and moved correctly in relation to the li elements. So I'll enter nd1. Abby 2 and Teresa 3. 
and let's shuffle. And you can see that everything looks good. The input fields are staying in the right position compared to the LI element. And I can keep doing this just for a short while. And we should see that everything works as intended. While the default strategy that Vue.js uses results in better performance, you should be careful that you don't face similar problems to what we've just seen. For simple cases where you just use string interpolation to output data, it's perfectly fine to use the default behavior. But as you embed more advanced logic within your v4 block, you should start to consider adding a key attribute to your elements. At the very least, you should be aware that bugs like these may occur and that if you see some strange behavior when using the v4 directive, then you should probably try to add a key attribute and see if it resolves your problem. This is really all you need to know. It's not that important to actually understand why this is a problem as long as you know how to deal with it. Now it's time to talk a bit about how Vue.js recognizes when we change an array of items.